coming. Coming, coming, coming. Sorry. Wow, you look amazing. Thank you. No, I mean freaking unreal. Thank you. Um, what are you doing here? Well, I was hoping you might feel like broadening my admittedly limited horizons, exposing me to a little culture and hope it sticks. The pro art gallery thingy, I'd like to take you. Oh, I get it. You need an alibi. Well, I was supposed to take you to the opera, remember? But we never made it. So, I mean, at our show, it's the next best thing, same ballpark, highbrow, fancy, dripping with incomprehensible meaning. You're dodging the question. Which leads me to believe that I'm right. You do need an alibi. But you are an undercover cop, so you actually wouldn't need an alibi, that is. You would just tell your fellow detectives the truth about whatever happened, because something happened, right? And that leads me to my next question. Why involve me, your perfect little innocent citizen, unless that's part of your undercover cover? To use me as an alibi, because if you weren't a cop and you really were the mobster that you pretend to be, then you you really would need one. Do you uh, get a headache from doing all this overthinking? I heard sirens an hour ago. Admit it, you were involved in something. Okay, that was the uh, four alarm blaze burning. In my heart. Thank God you're here. I, I really need you. Oh no, what happened? Nothing yet, but disaster is looming. Franco is here, and he's seriously good looking, but very weird. We weird how? Well, uh, come see for yourself. There's safety in numbers. Well, are you freaking out? No, no, everything's under control. Let's go. I'll, uh, I'll come too, okay? On second thought, he doesn't like to be crowded, so maybe I should just go by myself. Okay, whatever you want. But um, come by the installation room later by yourself so you can meet him as a Crimson employee. That way he won't feel gawked at. Sure. And I might need to be rescued. Okay. <laughs> Poor Maxie, she takes everything about Crimson. So He's sweet. Just walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Oh, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I just... It's art. It's kind of crazy, don't you think? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, there's something about it. I'm just drawn to it. You like this stuff? Well, I don't know. It just seems really familiar. Is not displeased by the jackal's tardiness. See, as a, as a full partner in McCall and Jackal, it was my duty to to follow through on all security, make sure everything was was all in order. I wouldn't worry. I'm sure Max didn't even notice that you weren't here. Ouch. No, I didn't mean I, but that came out wrong. No, 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 no. What, what, what I mean is that Maxie has her hands full. She pulled Franco duty, which is like celebrity babysitting. She has to make sure all the red M&Ms are all perfect and precise. Well, actually, I most admiring of the off-putting painter's work. And it's, it's original and darkly explosive. Am I missing something here? I'm, I mean, like, look at that one. I mean, I know that's supposed to have some kind of profound meaning, but doesn't it just look like graffiti? Hey, we have to go. Wait, no, no I, I still haven't found Miss Misa and no, McCall. We have Jack to go right now. It does not bode well. I'm officially worried. What about what? Maxie doesn't exactly have the best judgment. I think she took off with Frank. Again? I'm sorry, I just... I could swear I, I have seen this before. 